My name is Jaap Vaas, I'm the director of the School of Urban and Regional Planning and I want to tell you a little bit about our, what I call education in the sunshine, what a little imagination and dedication can do. And this is really about a project that some of our students did in the summer of 2007, so a little bit more than a year ago. The students were doing a final project in which they were looking at how we can make the downtown campus more sustainable. And I actually found an interesting thing that this campus was fairly sustainable, that the facilities people had already done a tremendous amount of stuff. They had put light timers on, they had changed their lightning, uh, just to save some energy. But they came up with one new thing. They said we needed to have a solar roof. So this is a story of what a little imagination and dedication can do. After the students had done their, their initial project, they decided to, one of them decided to follow up and look at how can we actually get this implemented. Because in planning we say a plan is only as good as its implementation. So this one student came back and said, Dr. Voss, what can we do about this and how are we going to make this work? And she actually came up with a proposal to make this solar roof work. So, what we're going to do is we're going to try to install, or no, we're not going to try to install, maybe by the time you see this we are, have started with the installation of 252 photovoltaic panels or 34,272 watts of energy on the roof of the ATC building in downtown Fort Lauderdale. Um, we're also going to install a flat panel display, and I'm going to show you this in a little bit, or a real-time mon monitoring system of this program. And finally, we're going to establish, and this is probably the most exciting part of this, the Sun Fund Scholarship. And I think this is an, a really important part of this whole project. We're trying to make sure that the savings that we're establishing with these solar panels are actually used to establish a scholarship. Um, okay, so these projects are expensive. So here is what we're, how we're pulling this together. Florida Atlantic University is paying part of this. Another part is FPNL. FPNL is actually giving us a large subsidy to make this work. The state of Florida is helping us pay. And then we finally have a private donor who is going to give us some money for this. Um, the roof is going to be on this building, the ATC building, if you haven't seen it. And this is what it will look like. Now, this is actually the roof on another building because it's not installed yet. Now, what we're going to put on this roof is this. If you had any idea about what a solar roof is all about, it's nothing like it used to be anymore. This is actually very flexible, thin material. You can move it around, you can walk on it, it can get wet, it can be in the shade, it doesn't make any difference. And people can actually just glue this almost on the roof. So this material is going to be put on the roof and basically, we're not going to cover the entire roof. Because part of this is that it's going to be an educational process. So we're going to create pathways on the roof so that people can actually go on the roof and see exactly what it looks like. So there are some benefits to this. The first benefits, and I've, there are environmental benefits, and there are different benefits than that. The first one is that we will probably produce about 50,000 kilowatts of energy per year which is about 20 to 25% of the current demand of this particular building in downtown. Now you have to realize this is a 12-story building. So it has a fairly small footprint and lots of users. That's why it's only 20 to 25%. If this was a two or a three-story building, then we would actually create almost all the energy that was used in this building. That means we're going to avoid about 70,000 pounds of carbon dioxide emission. Right. Now, if you don't imagine what that means, 70,000 pounds of carbon dioxide, that is about 4,000 gallons of oil that we will save per year. In addition, we will preserve the carbon dioxide capacity of about 4,200 trees. So if you want to do the same kind of carbon dioxide sink, what we call it, you would have to plant 4,200 trees. All right. Finally, and this is a really interesting one and why this is so interesting for a department or for a school, for a university, is because it's going to reduce peak demand. It is not so much just the energy that we're preserving, it is that the peak demand is going to be reduced. In Florida, we have peak demand in the summer when there's also the most solar energy. 
So we're going to create the most energy at the same time that we need the most energy for cooling of the building. Reducing peak demand means that you actually save more money. All right, so then there are all these educational benefits. It's just part of why we're doing this. First of all, having it at a university building means that we can educate our own students and BCC students. BCC students, FAU students can go on the roof, we can use it in classes, people can actually see what it means to have a roof like this. We're also going to be able to educate local officials and businesses. The fact that we're in downtown, usually solar roofs are not done in downtown. But we're going to be in downtown, in the center of Fort Lauderdale, and we can invite local officials and businesses that this works. We can show them the roof and we can show them the savings. Normally, people don't maintain their savings as clearly as we are going to do. In a way, we're a pilot for other buildings. We're a pilot for other buildings in downtown, but we're also a pilot for other buildings at a university. The engineering building in Boca Raton, they're talking about putting a solar roof on, which is basically the same materials. This particular project will give them some more information, whether how much energy are we actually creating, how much uh, are we saving. And this one is important because, in my heart, I'm an educator. It shows that students can make a positive difference. If it hadn't been for two students in the planning program that had decided to do this planning project, and one student that decided that they wanted to follow up, this would have never happened. So if you take your planning project seriously, you might actually end up with a solar roof. So I want to show you this. Um, this is something that will actually be available on our website. And what you will see on here is it will actually tell you in the top how much energy has been generated today, how many energy has been generated this month, uh, what the lifetime energy production will be, how much power output we have, and whether or not it's currently in operation. And then it will have a little graph here which will actually show you how much energy we are producing at that particular time. At the same time, it will give you what the offsets are. How much carbon dioxide have we, been, have we avoided? How many gallons of gas have we not used? And how many trees have been replaced? So this will be available on our website so everybody can see this. This is real time. Obviously this slide is not, but this will be real time. So anybody can at any time see what is happening uh, with this building. What is really exciting about it is that we're going to have a monitor, a big monitor downstairs in the building so that everybody who walks by downtown can actually see how much energy we are creating at this particular time. Now, if you do all this stuff, then what we hope will happen is this kind of stuff. Nice articles in the newspaper that will actually tell you what a wonderful product it is and how wonderful we're doing as a university. This is the kind of stuff that really needs to go out so people can see this actually works in the downtown area. So that is the short story of our solar roof which hopefully by the time you see this, we will be installing on the HCC building.